So you have built your Microsoft Fabric content reports, paginated reports, Power BI reports, real-time streaming dashboards. Now you want to share it with the users. There are plenty of different ways to share Microsoft Fabric content, but recently we have this new way called Org App, which is kind of like a new generation of Power BI app used to be previously, uh, which is a great way to share your Microsoft Fabric content. In this video, I'm going to show you how that works. I'm Reza Rad. Let's see how Org App works in Microsoft Fabric environment. Um, when you have Microsoft Fabric content, you can, of course, share it through the workspace. Like I can have all of my Microsoft Fabric content, lake houses, warehouses, um, data pipelines, notebooks, reports, semantic models, and I can share that workspace with others. Of course, that is a way of sharing, but when you use workspace sharing, normally you share everything within that workspace. If you use viewer access, of course, you are limiting that to be only consumable content from the user point of view, which are visual elements such as reports. However, even with that, sometimes you don't want to share the entire content of the workspace. You don't want to share like 20 reports that you have in the workspace. You want to share part of those reports. Uh, in Power BI, we had this uh, option in the past, which is still available, called Power BI App, which is also called as Workspace App. It's a way that you create an app on top of your workspace and you share your consumable items with your users. Now, recently, Microsoft Fabric announced this new feature called Org App. Org App uh, has some benefits over the Power BI app. This is not going to replace Power BI app at this stage. They are going to both exist. Uh, and I will talk about their differences in another video. But in this video, I want to talk about what is this Org App? What are the benefits of this when you want to share Microsoft Fabric content. So let me jump into my screen and I'll show you all of these in the screen. So first of all, org app is something you need to build inside the Power BI uh, website. This is not a desktop thing uh, because uh, this is not just for Power BI. Uh, it is for the entire Microsoft Fabric. So if I go here and I enable my zooming as well in case I need to do zooming in some stage, I'll switch into Microsoft Fabric portal. Inside Microsoft Fabric portal, of course, you can switch between different workspaces. You see I have a few workspaces with Microsoft Fabric license here. For example, this is one of those workspaces. When I go and choose this workspace, um, I can create an app on top of this. Normally, we do have an app. Let me unpublish this app so that you can see what that app is. So um, the first view when you are coming into a workspace would be seeing something like create app. This is not what we are going to talk about in this video. This is creating workspace app or Power BI app, the previous way of sharing. What I'm going to share, talk about is org app. So org app means that in this workspace, I have all of these content. I have like notebooks, semantic models, data flows, uh, lake houses, warehouses, and I want to share this with my users. Now, of course, I can go into my workspace manage access. Here I can add someone in here and give them access. Like I can say, for example, Reza has this access of whatever. Now, if I go and choose, for example, access of admin member or contributor, these three levels of access will give this person access to see the entire content in this workspace, lake houses, warehouses, everything. Uh, and they can also, like that user can also go and edit it. If I give that user viewer access, this is not going to be edit access. This is going to be view only, but only for consumable items from a viewer user point of view, which is mainly reports and visualization items, such as dashboards, things like that. I have explained about these uh, access levels in a workspace in details, what are the differences uh, in another video. So go and check that out. So I'm not going to use this method for sharing because if I use viewer access, all of these reports, like 20 reports, 30 reports that I have in my workspace, they will be all shared with my users, which I don't want this to happen. I want to only share 
part of these reports. The other thing is that I want to share other parts of the reports with someone else, right? So what I'll do is I'll create org app. So org app, the way that it works is that to create an org app, first you'll go and create a new item within your Fabric Capacity Workspace. Now, Org App used to be, uh, at the very first that they announced it, used to be only for Fabric license, but it is now also available for Power BI license as well. When you click on New Item, uh, there are plenty of items you can create here, but one of them is Org App. As you can see, this is preview at the time of creating this video. I'll click on Org App. Um, you'll set a name for this. I can call this like Org App test Reza one of course this should be name of whatever you are sharing with your users such as like finance reports and things like that but I'm creating this for an example so I'll create this org app and once you create the org app then you'll go in to add content into your uh, org app like what is the things you are going to share with your users so I'll go to add content either from here or from here so I'll start with adding content and I'll see all the contents that I can add in org app. And what are these contents? Uh, these can be uh, reports, Power BI reports, paginated reports, real-time dashboards, uh, normal dashboards, and notebook. Here is one of the differences between org app and the previous generation of Power BI app. In Power BI app, you could not select a notebook. To share and you might wonder why notebook this is like a read-only user what is the use of notebook sometimes in notebook you can also add some like commentary you can add some visualization as well in your notebook so that is the reason so here you'll choose all the items that you want to share like for example I'll go and say well I want this report which is a paginated report I might go and say well I want also um, some kind of like Mm, report that has something in it I'm trying to see which report might have something in it but let's just select any of these let's say this is a report or this report um, and you can also select a notebook as well now I think I have selected some notebooks here in this list but let me just select one more right so you'll add whatever you want this might be a bunch of items and you can see they are listed in here uh, you can reorganize these, you can or change their order. For example, you might say, I want the notebook to go all the way down. So you can say move down using this option, or you can move something up. You can also add a section. This is where you build your navigation. So all of the navigation actually happens within this area. So here you can say, I want to create a section. I'll name this section as, uh, for example, reports. This creates a section, as you can see, then I can move these items into the section. I can say, move this to section, report, or I can also say, move this one to section, report. That can be outside of this, and I can say, let's move the reports up. Uh, you can add multiple sections if you want, like I can add another section such as, other others thing and then I can move this one into the other and also this one to the other uh, you don't necessarily need to have a um, section to organize things but it's a good way to organize items you can also add a link here now this link can be linked to any like external wiki or anything like that I can add a link here for example to wiki page and I just add Radicad website here just as a sample and you can say do you want this to be embedded into the app or uh, opened in a new browser you can choose that so once you add that that also comes here not only these you can add a overview page this is also one of the things that we didn't have in or in the Power BI app before. So overview page will have a list of all the items in here. You can set a name for this overview page. I would call it welcome page. And then I say welcome page goes all the way to the top. So move it to up, move up and 
move up. Then on welcome page itself, you see this shows a preview of like what items we have in here. I can add a header, I can say welcome to finance report, things like that. And here we have some reports about blah, blah, right? Uh, I can also have a theme applied into that as well. And this would look like this. We would have like a header and we would have like that subheader, like this description on it. You can have the search box. So it's like creating an actual app for your users, which is a good way of sharing the content. One of the reasons why I prefer this to share instead of the workspace sharing. So once you built everything, once you built your, once you added your content, once you added your navigation, then the next stage is to customize your app, the look and feel of your app, which you can do it here in the customize section. When you click on customize here, you'll have the branding and the navigation. Like for example, in the branding, I can go and upload. For example, let's say I will upload a transparent logo in here and then I'll go and choose a theme color and you can see by applying these I can see the change that happens right over here I'll see what this looks like so this is like the theme color you have and that is the logo you can have once you have that you can also choose how you want the navigation to be done like do you uh, like everything goes into one pane but then the report pages, you may want that to be like a separate pane. You can choose that. I'll just leave it as the default section. And then I say apply. Uh, you can also preview this using this preview app function, which is a really helpful thing because it will show you what the app look like. So this is what the app look like. This section, you see the color that I have used, the color uh, used is also in the welcome page header. I'll see these items. I can go to the reports. I'll see these different sections. And when I click on these, I will see whatever report is in this. Now, I didn't really check if this report has any visualizations or not. Apparently it does have something in it. Um, and then the wiki page, which will open in another place. Or this is, for example, the notebook. As I said, this app also gives you the ability to share the notebook and I can see the codes. If there was any result for the execution, I would see that too. Uh, so all of these so far is for uh, seeing this yourself. Now in the setting parts, there is also one other section you can set and that is the endorsement. Endorsement is talking about what uh, what level of trustworthiness you assign on this app because you might have multiple apps. This might be the app that you have tested and checked. You might consider that as a certified app or not that much tested. You might consider it as a promoted app. This is the level of uh, trustworthiness you define uh, so that it helps the governance of your items. Again, I have a video separately about certifications and endorsement in marks of fabric environment go and check that out so once you have built everything in your app then you'll go and save it so i'll go and save my app so this is saved now i can share it with others to share it with others we can do it in two different ways we can first uh, use this share option which would say who have access to this so we can copy the link like i'll copy the link here and send it to someone. But this means that only people who have access to the app will see this link. So you need to make sure that you'll go to manage access or add person or group. And here you add access to the people. By default, people who have uh, admin or member access will have access to this app. So not even contributor. This is for admins and members. Um, contributors is only an exception if someone checked the checkbox saying that contributors can also share the content in workspace. So here you can go and add a user, adding them simply, you just enter their email address and, uh, and you can also give them permission to share it with others. So once you have given them access and you send them the link, they'll open the link like this is the link from a user point of view, I will see this app just like this. So this is the app that I can see it. You see the logos and uh, theme colors. We can also close the navigation so that we see this. It's a really nice way of seeing the app. 
the items in the reports, the reports itself, which you can open and see the content of that. Really um, useful way of sharing. Not only this is simpler for navigations and things like that, uh, Microsoft Fabric will take care of the access levels as well. Like when you share this, uh, it will automatically give access to that particular report read only uh, or if that report is a live connection to a semantic model read only uh, access to that semantic model as well that you can read the data even if that semantic model lives in another workspace that is one thing about this the other thing is that creating this type of app is not bound to the traditional problem that we had or traditional limitation that we had with workspace app with workspace app or power bi apps previously you could only create one app per workspace but here i can create another app i can easily come here and i say new item i'll go and create another org app and the whole thing can start from scratch again if i look at here you can actually see that i have multiple org app already within this workspace so you can have multiple org apps include some of the items in this some of the items in that share it with the users uh, and they can see this they can also go to the app section of the uh, navigation bar and not only they see power bi apps in there they can also see the organizational apps shared within that environment so some kind of like similar way that Power BI apps used to be, but it's a new generation of that. It's a way that you can share more items. Notebook is also included. You can have multiple apps per workspace, which we did not have that in the previous option. The access levels are managed easier, but one thing is really important. And this is, I would say, the most critical thing to know about apps if you are going to use it in enterprise or in production environment. Previous Power BI app generation would have created a copy of the content from the workspace. When you created a Power BI app, your report was created as a copy. If you went and changed the report in workspace, it would not have changed the report in the app. I'm not talking about the data, I'm talking about the report, the visualization itself. This would have created a dev environment in workspace live or user environment in app so that the changes that dev developers make in the dev environment is not going to impact immediately for the user environment and we had the concept of like updating the app so that the users don't um, get immediately caught by that change and someone is gatekeeper of updating that configuration now with the organization apps with org app this is not the case. With org app, there is no copy of the report. This is the actual report shared through the org app. This is the actual notebook. This is the actual paginated report. If you go and change it, that would immediately change in the org app. Which brings this concept that if you are going to use this method, which is a great method for sharing, you have to be careful managing your dev environment and user environment by the workspace so you need to have a workspace for the environment another workspace for the user environment and then the deployment pipeline to deploy the content from these two and then the app on top of the user environment to share it with your end users i have explained about deployment pipelines also in another video um, and i have explained how this all works within that video as well uh, so here is a summary that you have seen using org app definitely a great way to share this is a still preview my recommended way of sharing content is this in Microsoft Fabric environment because of all of these benefits but you have to be careful of dev user separation environment and I will create another video later about the differences by the differences between Power BI app and org app but if you are creating new apps, I would suggest use org app to create it. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos about Microsoft Fabric and Power BI. I'm Razorad. Until the next video, bye.